the next uh, stage I'm going to go into is putting a uh, roof and a ceiling. Uh, we've got some exterior walls. Let's go take a look at a 3D view so that we can kind of get a feel. And uh, we no longer need, let's tab this and, and find uh, masses. And let's see if I can override all those by category. Okay. So what I've got going right now is, uh, you know, a series of uh, masonry walls on the outside, CMU over stone, most likely. Um, I could use that as very generic, but I know it's going to be load bearing. And then I got interior walls in here. Uh, there, some of them aren't completely the way I want them, uh, but but overall that's that'll work. The next thing I'm going to do is put in a ceiling and a roof. Um, and so let's look at the section. Uh, let's just look at a section real quick, or a couple of sections. Uh, so we can make some decisions here. So uh, I've decided on CMU and, and bar joist is probably with a steel deck. And on top of that steel deck, there's going to be uh, styrofoam and uh, a, a membrane, some kind of uh, insulation in a membrane. And um, so I, I looked in Allen Iano for, uh, you know, joist. Uh, if I put them on four foot on centers, then uh, the joist will be about 30 inches from uh, Alan Alano's book. And it came at the same in uh, Ching's book. Um, also, uh, the, the depth of the deck uh, is, I think it came out uh, an inch and a half or something like that. Uh, rounded off to two inches right now. Make that work. So anyway, let's uh, we want to put in a roof and, and then the ceiling is going to be down here. Uh, right now we set a 10 foot ceiling. We're putting this up at 14 feet. So that means there's four feet between here and uh, the top of the ceiling minus the 30 inches for structure. We could probably bring that wall down even another course or two if we wanted to. We probably don't need that much room. But for conceptual purposes, let's go ahead and get that in. Um, We've got block, we've got stone out here. We're going to have some kind of insulation between the stone and the block. Uh, that would be a good practice, and but we'll we'll work on that detail later. So ceiling and a roof. So uh, let's put a ceiling in first at 10 feet. So I'm, what I'm going to do is go into the uh, first floor, okay, and I'm going to architecture. Uh, ceilings here. Uh, there's a. This is an ACT. This is jip board with metal stud. Uh, you know, uh, I I probably go ahead and and put in uh, an ACT ceiling. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Matter of fact, let's just create a generic. So I'm going to just going to take this uh, compound. Uh, let's take this uh, metal and jip board, and we'll just go in here and edit. And I'll duplicate and I'll say, uh, you know, generic ceiling. Um, and I'll go, you know, as you can see right here, uh, the steel stud and, and uh, it, it, the steel stud is at least four and a quarter inches. Uh, so we'll go, I don't know. Four inches or something like that. Four. Let's just go ahead and do four inches, just so we can be different. And I'm going to go ahead in here and edit this. And uh, let's change this to generic. Let's see if I got a generic ceiling. Acoustic. Acoustic. Uh, Ceilings. So I don't know what this is. Oh, it's purple. Whatever it is. Uh, I don't know if I want it. appearances. Uh, I don't know why this is purple. But uh, let's use rending appearance, which is that, which is way too. I want a white ceiling. Uh, so let's go into this and up this up to. I don't know. 
uh, somewhere right in there, kind of an off-white. Okay, apply. Okay, um, and then I'm going to just delete this. We won't worry about the jet board, and then this we're going to say is four inches. And we'll work. Once again, you could have taken any of those others. Uh, this is conceptual and just thrown it in, but let's, we'll just do this. And um, so basically, you know, doing a sketch of ceiling, or I can pick a series of walls and it'll and it'll see how it's selecting this interior space right here. If we were putting an ACT ceiling in this, uh, we would definitely, uh, you know, set make the walls taller than the ceiling and then set the uh, the ceiling inside of it. So it's all a matter of of your approach, but automatic ceiling sketch. See, I'm going to sketch it because what I'm going to do is let's go here and let's just we're just going to put one big ceiling over the whole thing right now. We can always break that up later, and I will. You'll see how I'll break it up later. The other thing is, is you know, the first finished floor. How far up do we want it to be? I almost forgot this, so I want it to be 10 feet in general. All right. Whoop. How'd I get that? Okay. So I want this to be 10 feet. Okay. And um, well, it applied it, and I'm going to accept it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is throw myself in here a section real quick and take a look at it. So I'll go into views, um, a section, and I'm just going to zap a section through here real quick oh. and let's go to that section view and so here you can see my ceiling you can see my walls are up above my ceiling uh, since this is my ceiling height what I'm going to do because I like to have a level in there that says this is ceiling okay so uh, let's oh, that was grid I selected not ceiling uh, level not a level and let's uh, let's put level right here. Right. Come on, attach to that. There we go. Uh, and this would be um, we'll say finish ceiling. And so now I have uh, a level in there. Uh, of course, I don't want that level to end right there, so I'm going to move it down here. So it goes down here with the rest of them. And uh, it's locked in there. So now I have a feeling, notice it added a finished ceiling uh, level here. And, uh, and then the next thing, so what I'm gonna do is all these interior walls, I'm gonna accept them, uh, select all instances, uh, entire project. And so it's going to select all the interior walls of the same type, okay, uh, instances of the same type. And then uh, instead of up constraint, uh, I'm, I'm going to set the up constraint here. Instead of to the roof, I'm going to say go to that finished ceiling. And then, of course, what it's going to do is adjust all that. Now, I've got one wall in here, which is the six-inch plumbing wall. Okay, and either I could drag this, but I think I'll just go ahead and do the same thing. Just tell it to go finish ceiling. And now all my walls go up to the ceiling, and this is kind of a big open space, right? And this is where I can run my duct work or whatever I'm going to do. The next thing I'm going to do is put a roof in, which is going to be right here, which is at this, uh, uh, you know, finish roof 